Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Well, it is still gloomy and foggy here on Come On Mountain. Uh, but the ice storms have finally passed. We had three days of ice storms here on the mountain. And it is wet. But the ice is starting to melt. See a little bit of frost there on Mike's truck. And a little bit on my windshield right there. As you can see, we actually moved the RV yesterday. Back here by my canopy in the backyard. We went to go pull it out yesterday and it is way way too wet over there where they was parked to really kind of get them set up right now so we decided to put it back here by my cabin where it's nice and hard and solid and not muddy uh, that way they don't track mud and stuff in their place constantly for the next couple of days we're supposed to get about four days of some decent weather and it's supposed to heat up a little bit so i'm thinking it's going to dry it out a little bit around here which allowed me to get Uber back over there and get all that cleared out for them. We did pick out a spot yesterday. Just got to let it dry up a little bit so we can go ahead and clear it out. Ryder here with me this morning. Good morning, Ryder. And we got Eclipse running around over here. I know that y'all been uh, missing Eclipse in the videos. She is here. Like I said earlier, I've been keeping her in the house with me and she only kind of runs around while I'm outside now. Uh, just for safety reasons, just to make sure that everything's good for a little while. I'd rather uh, be cautious than sorry, you know what I mean? But uh, we're taking a little walk this morning. She's been doing good since she's been on the mountain. To be honest with you, she hasn't even uh, really uh, paid much attention to Ryder. Um, so that's good. Uh, it sounds like uh, Mike and them's generator is about to run out. Eclipse is out there doing her business. I'm going to walk out here and see if the mountain is actually showing yet. It's funny, since they've been uh, here in Arkansas, uh, Drifting Dreamers 5, they haven't actually gotten a chance to see the mountains around here yet in the hills. Because of all the fog, <laughs> they talk about how beautiful the scenery is. I said, y'all haven't even really gotten to see it yet. There she is, wide open. Wide open. As you can see, I had the top of another cedar tree break out right there. And right there. I haven't been this way to see what all has fell over here since I've been back. Looks like just a whole bunch of tops and stuff of cedar trees have came out. That whole top right there is out. Those right there make some good fence posts. And it looks like this one uh, decided to trim itself. What do you smell? Eclipse. What are you smelling? What are you smelling? Huh? What are you smelling? What are you smelling? Uh, yeah, you amped up this morning, huh? You enjoying this cold? <laughs> yeah, this one right here had a bunch of branches fall out. I had the top fall out and then plus a couple of the other branches. Nope. Yeah, I've decided after everything that... uh the whole playing around with rider thing is a, uh, is a no-go. I'm going to uh, correct her. Every time she gets a little too ambitious around the cats around here. And uh, see if that can kind of train her to kind of just uh, coexist. What is it? What do you smell? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's still foggy out there, guys. Still pretty foggy. What is it, man? What are you doing, Ryder? We haven't took a walk in a couple of weeks. Not no real walk. Yeah, it's been a while since I've taken one of these walks with uh, 
both of the kids because uh, I was sick all of January and then went on the road to Florida. So uh, now we're back. We're going to try to get back into our routine, do our little morning walks and talks and kind of show y'all things. We got a lot to do today. Yesterday, like I said, was kind of a bust. We ended up getting both trucks stuck. Ended up putting, hooking my truck up to the camper after uh, Mike got stuck. I have a little bit more aggressive tires on my truck than he does. And uh, he already dug so many holes right there where the camper was that uh, I got stuck pretty much immediately as well. But uh, we hooked Uber up to my truck while it was hooked to the camper. And Uber pulled both out like it wasn't nothing. So Uber's a beast. Uber to the rescue again. So we ended up getting them set back there, all set up yesterday so they can be cozy. And then it started raining and round three of the ice storm came through. So it was pretty much a wash yesterday. Did not get nowhere near as much done as I wanted to get done. Today it's still kind of wet. I'm probably going to get the trailer unloaded, get all the stuff unloaded from my trip because I've held off on that because of the ice storm too. Especially being that I got the goats in my little storage shed right now. Protecting them from the ice storm. And uh, they're doing good. I will probably uh, take y'all to see them tomorrow's video. Uh, I don't really want to do it with uh, Eclipse kind of just running free right now. I want to introduce them properly. And uh, I don't want to do it while I'm on the phone. That way I got both hands just in case I need it. Huh. And I just seen movement over there at the camper and it looks like the dogs are out. Eclipse! They have met uh, yesterday and they did get along, but Eclipse was on a leash and they was on a leash. So this is probably going to be a high energy meeting this morning with Eclipse just bouncing around. What's she doing better? Eclipse. <whistles> yep. She done went straight to the other husky. Eclipse. She is like more friends to play with. <laughs> Eclipse, don't be getting all tunnel vision on me. That's what gets you in trouble. Hey. You don't get to be rough with her. <laughs> she only wants to play with the know. husky. <laughs> <laughs> she acts like she does with uh, Luna. <laughs> Eclipse. <whistles> See, that's the problem. You get tunnel vision and don't listen. Come here. Hey, hey, calm down. Yeah, this is this right here, guys, is the first time that they've just ran together. They're all socially active dogs, they've been raised around other dogs, so as long as none shows aggression. And it stays playful, they should be okay. Well, good morning. Good morning. Uh, how was the new setup? It was nice. It wasn't unlevel. Yep. Nice and toasting. <laughs> I need to do an oil change. On yeah. My generator. My generator's going down. I heard your generator go out this morning while we was walking. Eclipse. 
Odin, come, come, Odin, good boy. Well, guys, I think I'm going to get off here. That way I can keep a closer eye on Eclipse here. Right now she's got that tunnel vision where she ain't even hearing what I'm saying. And that's one of the things I'm trying to correct. She needs to start listening. It doesn't matter if she's excited or not. All right, guys, until we see each other again, come on. <laughs> keep it real.